Hey there guys and welcome back. On this week's show I'm going to show you guys how to make a set of these and that would be toaster tongs. That way you can get your toast out of the toaster without sticking metal forks down there and risking electrocution. It's a real simple project and you're going to find them really handy in your kitchen. Get a pair for your wife, she'll love you for it. So without further ado, toaster tongs. The first thing you want to do is choose your stock. Now I've made these out of cedar, uh, maple, you name it, any wood will do. It's a great way to use up some scrap. So I went through my bin and I found a scrap of walnut. Um, so what we're going to do first is cut it to length. You want the final piece to be three quarters of an inch thick, 15 sixteenths wide and seven inches long. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this scrap out to 7 inches long. The scrap piece is now cut to a 7 inch length, which is where we want it to be for its final dimension. Now I'm going to install the ripping blade in my table saw and I'm going to rip this 3 quarter inch thick walnut to 15 16 inch wide pieces. Um. The next step that we need to do now that we have our blank cut is we want to measure for our inset curve. And what we're going to do is we're going to measure in an inch and five eighths and we're going to measure the center between here which will be 15 30 seconds and we're going to mark that center point and that will be the center point for us to drill our hole for the inside arc for these tongs. We have our center hole marked here and like I said it will be 15 30 seconds into the center and we measured in one and five eighths from the end of the stock. I'm now going to punch this hole just to aid in uh, drilling and we're going to drill a three quarter inch hole right through this stock on the 15 16 inch side. We have our center hole marked and punched and I've got a three quarter inch Forstner bit set up here in the drill press so we're going to go ahead and drill a three-quarter inch through hole on the 15th, 16th inch side of our blank. Using walnut here today, you just want to take it a little slower with the Forstner bit. You don't want to gum it up or overheat the bit. And you've probably heard me say it a million times, guys, but I'm going to say it again. Please don't forget your safety glasses while you're doing any kind of work like this. Our through hole is drilled in the walnut. Now what we need to do is extend a line from the edge of this hole all the way to the end of the tongs and I'm going to be using my INCRA rule for that of course you can use a ruler whatever you have even a, a straight flat piece of scrap wood but I'm going to be using the INCRA today because that's the method that I like to use and as I said you just want to draw a line right down the edge of each side of the board. So hopefully you can see this here that we have those lines drawn. Now we're going to take this over to the scroll saw and cut out this center waste area. I have a number 7 reverse tooth bit installed in the scroll saw and now we're just going to carefully cut along these lines 
and cut out this center waist area. You want to try to be as accurate as you can here. You can straighten it out a little later with some uh, sanding, but the more accurate you are at this point in time, the better it will be for you later on. And if you don't have a scroll saw, use a band saw. If you don't have a band saw, you could use a keyhole saw. If you don't have a keyhole saw, you could use a hacksaw. You can use whatever you like for this. This isn't exactly imperative. You could even continue to drill three-quarter Forstner bit holes all the way through and then uh, file off the rough side edges. Probably not the most efficient way, but it also works. So we've got our waste area cut out here and you can you can see that we've already got some tong action happening there and for all intents and purpose um, this could be done at this point in time with just some final sanding but what I like to do just to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing and a little more comfortable in your hand is I like to round off this back end here so with that being said we're going to mark a center line, mark the radius of 15 sixteenths uh, for 15 sixteenths of an inch here and I'm going to take it over to the disc sander and I'm just going to round off this back section right here. The final step is we're going to do a little bit of sanding on this uh, set of toaster tongs. First with the quarter sheet sander and then we're going to do some hand sanding on the inside edges and the sharper edges just to soften it up a bit. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. There you have it, toaster tongs. Uh, a real easy project. It doesn't take long to make. They're handy as heck, man. Make yourself a set, make your wife a set, make your mom a set, make your girlfriend a set, your grandma, make everyone a set. It's a great way to use up some scrap stock and uh, they're really handy and keeps your fingers and of course metal utensils out of the toaster. Um, I'm going to be coating these with a food safe coating. On last week's show I showed you guys how to use um, or how to make your own coating, food safe coating for your end grain cutting boards. That coating is just fine to be using on this stuff as well and uh, it'll really bring out the grain and make this look really nice. So guys, try it yourself. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'm going to see you again next week with another woodworking video. Thanks again for watching, guys.